and welcome to the third video that I have filmed this week. Ta -da! Today I'm going to be doing my very first book unhaul. So I am a person that does not like to get rid of books. Um, I tend to try to buy books that I know I want to keep. I used to only buy books new if they were books that I had already read and knew that I wanted in my library. But as I started to work and have my own money, I just kind of fell out of that habit and got into just buying whatever books I wanted whenever I wanted, which is not a good habit to have. And it's turned out that I've kind of ended up with a bunch of books that I don't really want anymore. Some of these are old books that I read when I was a kid and I realized later that they're kind of terrible and um, others are ones that I accidentally got du duplicates of or I'm one of those people that usually needs to have a series that matches. Um, it either needs to perfectly match or it needs to be like every book is a different version. <laughs> um, which doesn't really make any sense but anyway. So some of these books are like hardcovers that I replaced with the paperback so that it would match the rest of the series or the opposite. Oh, and by the way, all of these books are going to be donated to my local women's shelter, um, as well as a whole pile of books that I collected at my birthday party last year, which are sitting in a box in another room, which I keep forgetting to bring to them. So I will have lots of books to bring there. So the first book that I have in my unhaul is one that I literally just bought last week at the library book sale because I thought that I didn't have it yet and then I realized when I got home that I already have it. So um, this one wasn't a waste of money. It was a toonie a bag day um, at the library book sale so this was literally zero dollars pretty much. So, so this is The Calder Game by Blue Balliot. It is the second book in the Chasing Vermeer series and I already own it. I own like random books from that series not perfectly in order so that's why I didn't remember if I owned the second one and I saw it there so I bought it. This series is really good. It's a really good kid series, like mystery series. Um, probably my favorite mystery series that still like holds up to this day because I used to read mysteries a lot when I was a kid and they were all terrible but these ones were actually good. So yeah, that's it. I have quite a few books in here that are from Owl Crates because I've been pretty disappointed by all of the books that have shown up in Owlcrate, which is why I don't really think I'm going to order them anymore, because they tend to just have the exact kind of YA that I don't like, um, like the badly written YA. So these two are ones that I read the first chapter of in October um, and decided to put down because I was not going to bother with a book that I already knew was going to be meh based on the writing in the first chapter. So the first one is Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart. I read the first chapter and the girls were already being obsessed with boys instead of the adventure that was about to happen so I was like nope, no thank you. The other one is My Plain Jane by the Lady Janies, Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. This one had a little bit more potential but I was just kind of annoyed by the writing style and I could tell that I was going to become more annoyed with the writing style as it went on so I put it down and it's just going into my unhaul but some people might enjoy it. Next up is another book that I just bought and that is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the Hufflepuff edition, and the only reason I'm giving this away is because I accidentally ordered the paperback and I have the hardcover of the first one, so I wanted the hardcover of all of them. I immediately ordered the hardcover of this one um, and it's already at the store, so I'm gonna go pick it up soon. Next up, I have two more books from Allocrates. These are from Allocrate Junior um, boxes and I read both of them and they were all right, but they weren't interesting enough for me to want to keep them in my library for my future kids basically. This is uh, Granted by John David Anderson, which is a cute story about a little fairy going on an adventure um, and discovering herself basically. The writing isn't fantastic which is why I'm not keeping it. Uh, this is Arusha and the End of Time by Roshani Shokshi. Shokshi. It's like the Rick Riordan style story but with Indian gods instead of Greek gods, which is really cool and interesting and probably very interesting for a 10 year old, but not that well written, so I'm not keeping it. Wow, I have a lot of Alan Craig books in here. So next up I have The Glass Spare, which is also from an Alan Craig last year, and I did read this one as well. I don't remember much about it, but I remember that the romance was really 
really annoying and predictable. And the story I think was interesting and I think the writing wasn't that bad but I was just really annoyed by the way the romance was written so yeah. Next up I have this book that my dad gave me for Christmas last year. It's called Debt Free Forever by Gail Vaz Oxlade. I don't know, my dad thought I should read a book about financial advice but I'd rather just talk to people about financial advice and I like looked at the first paragraph and immediately knew that I was going to be extremely annoyed by the way that she writes. It's very condescending and like happy-go-lucky in just a really annoying way. So not that I would read a self-help book anyway because I just don't read those kind of books. So I don't know why my dad gave me that really. Next up I have The Boy Who Could Fly Without a Motor by Theodore Taylor. I got this at the library book sale last year and it's got a like super aesthetic cover and sounded kind of cute but the writing's just really bad so it's in the pile. Next up I have the fourth and fifth um, series of unfortunate events books which are the only two that I own. I got them from the farmers market book stall for like two dollars each um, because I had read the first three and was planning to read the whole series but I read the fourth one and didn't enjoy it any more than I had enjoyed the first three, which was not at all because they're just really depressing and I don't enjoy reading about children being treated that way. So I don't really understand how kids like these books, but anyway, I didn't want to finish the series, so I didn't read the fifth one and I'm not going to get any more. So up next I have this giant hardcover edition of the second book in the Fits in the Fool trilogy, which is the one that I'm currently reading, but when I first ordered the trilogy, for some reason, this one was in hardcover. Not the other two, but this one was in hardcover, and it's just, like, way too big and clunky. I already have it in paperback now, so I'm going to add it to the pile, although someone will have to read, like, the entire rest of the books before they can read this one, or they'll be very confused. I think the pile's going almost off screen now. Cool. Lots of books to donate, that's good. Next up I have many dragon books. So I think these are the first dragon books that I ever read. So it's kind of a little bit bittersweet to be giving them away, but I kept the first one because the first one had potential and I actually really enjoyed the first one. I still enjoy it and I enjoy the concept. The first book is The Fire Within by Chris Lacey and um, I really like the concept of the clay dragons that come to life and like help you with dis different aspects of your life. And it was just really cute and everything made sense. The characters made sense for the way the way the story was going in that book. But when he went into the rest of the series, his writing never improved and he started to it just I just got really annoyed with the way he wrote a lot of the characters. And there were some weird weird decisions that he made with his writing too. So that's why I'm giving away the rest of the series. I'm not planning to read them again. The only one I'd really want to read again is the first one, so that's the one that I'm keeping. And I just have three more books in here, so the last three books for my unhaul are all ones that I'm pretty sure I got at library book sales like 15 years ago when I was a kid. Um, we used to go to the library book sale every year. I would buy every single Nancy Drew book that they had, and then a few other mystery books and whatever else caught my eye. This book I've read, I actually read like three times when I was a kid. Um, not sure why, because it's not good at all, but it's called Girl Reporter Stuck in Jam, and I honestly have no idea what it is, but apparently I enjoyed it enough to read it like five times when I was a kid. No, it's not something that I need in my library, I don't know why I've kept it this long. Uh, the next one is Cloning Miranda by Carol Matas. Matas. I only read a few junior sci-fi novels when I was a kid, and they were all about clones for some reason, I found them interesting or something, I don't know, and I just don't want to keep it, so yeah. The last book that I'm giving away is another one that I really, really like, actually, so um, this is The Search for Delicious by Natalie Babbitt, and I've read this also like five times, but it's actually really good. I read it again like a few years ago, and it holds up, but the only reason I'm giving it away is because I have a uh, nicer version of it now that I found at a used bookstore, a nice hardcover version with a really pretty cover, so this is a little... Um, kind of fairy tale esque story of a, a boy that is sent by the king to go around the kingdom and try to discover the 
meaning of the word delicious because they're writing a dictionary and no one can agree, agree on what the definition of the word delicious is. So he goes around the kingdom trying to find the definition of the word delicious and it's just really sweet and a good story and it's well written so I like it a lot. So that one's going on the pile. And yes, that was my first book unhaul and I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.